A lot of people have a lot of questions before starting van life. But no one who starts something new, something outside their comfort zone, had all the answer. At one point, they just had to jump. And eventually, all the questions will find their own answer. So yesterday I slept on this little side of the road, it was great, I had a good night of sleep um, but I have like really minimum cell service here, uh, one or two bar kind of and uh, I need more than that so we're gonna go in town and I need to find a shower too so I'm gonna look online, I never shower in this area, I don't know if this is something um, so I don't have my gym here, but there's a pool here. So I'm going to go at the pool and check if I can have a shower. Usually it's fine, but yeah, I'm going to go there because I need it. <laughs> All right. All right, baby, we need to go. We need to go. Come on, go to your spot. Go to your spot. Thank you. I know that was a nice place to sleep, eh? Yeah. That should be good for me. Great, this is full now. Awesome. I don't use that often RV water because it's so easy for if you carry just a little bottle of water like mine to find water on the side of a building or just to pay two dollars at the grocery store which is what I do once in a while too as well and campground sometimes but um, this is just like a place to dispose your gray water and all of this for a big RV and it also has a drinkable water which is exactly what I needed all right uh, now that we have the water I'm gonna try to find a shower Bring some cash too as well. All right, let's find out if we can have a shower. Had a nice long shower. <laughs> well, it's been a couple of days that I didn't have a shower. Sometimes it's a little bit longer than usual. <laughs> it was so nice. Uh, five daughter, I'm okay with this. All right, we got everything now. So I am. I am thinking now that my hair are all wet, and I brush them. I'm gonna cut them. So I've been cutting my own hair for, I don't know. I know at one point when I was in Quebec, my mom was cutting my hair. Uh, and now I've been doing it. Uh, it's probably been at least 20 years I didn't go see a hairdresser. 
Sorry if you're a hairdresser. I'm not the one who's gonna bring you business. Uh, yeah, I've been doing my hair for a while now. And they are super simple. I just tie them, uh, split them in half, uh, tie them at one point, and cut them. So let's move this. You gotta be my mirror, guys. Uh, because I don't really have a good mirror in my van. This is something that I'm gonna add. Let's turn the lights, maybe it's gonna help me a little bit. So I think I'm gonna cut maybe two inches. That's good enough. I'm not super picky about how I look. There you go. That's a good amount. And I don't like freshly cut hair, so I just kind of point them. I saw that somewhere on YouTube. I don't really have good scissors, but I just don't want them to be like looking freshly cut. This is a little bit not good enough. And because I have like a kind of curly hair or whatever you want to call it, messy hair, uh, we don't see that uh, it may not be like super level, you know what I mean? At least nobody told me, so must be good. Okay, let's check this out. Feels good. Must be good enough. <laughs> Alright, I think we are done in town. In town, in town here. <laughs> uh, so, we're gonna go explore another one. Uh, I'm going to a place, an area that I've never been before. Um, yeah, quite exciting to, uh, even if it's been like 16 years that I live in British Columbia or, or, or close to those, uh, those, close to British Columbia, um, there's still a lot of places that I never visit, so I'm gonna go there today. Ready to go for more adventure, Kitty? <laughs> You're always ready. I just stopped on the side of the road in this little pullover. Uh, in fact, it's a big pullover, it's not that small. And I thought I would drive further today, to be quite honest. But I stopped here after not even 30 minutes of driving, I think. And I was like, I don't feel to drive anymore. I think it's just like so much traveling lately and I'm just like, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> I don't want to move, I don't want to do so much. Uh, so I'm just pulling here and I'm gonna relax. Uh, I'm gonna make a little something for dinner. I'm gonna use those white noodle. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm gonna make. Put up a vegetable, garlic, soy sauce maybe. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so the pasta over here. Gonna let finish that cook. And I just put onion, three cloves of garlic. Yes, it's gonna be super garlic. Mm -hmm. And some broccolini, and I'm gonna put some mushroom as well. So this smells so good. So the pasta should be cooked. This just take like five minutes. And I'm gonna put some soy sauce. Yeah, let's we'll see what I'm gonna put. All right, there you go. Soy sauce, garlic, a little bit of oil, chili flakes, onion. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's gonna be good. <laughs> so, if you wanna start van life, guys, I know I said that a couple of times, but I think like this is 
so much a question always come when I meet people is to try to figure out all the answer for the question. Where I'm gonna sleep, where I'm gonna go to the bathroom, where I'm gonna get water, where, 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 where. And I had those, those questions too as well. Like it's normal, everyone's got them. But if you're waiting to do van life after you get all those questions answered, uh, you're never gonna start van life. Like we always get those questions. And I think people who are willing to go in van life or at least full time or even on a weekend, we don't know those questions. I didn't know that I would sleep here tonight or this morning I didn't know the spot that I would sleep. I didn't know if 100% that would be okay. No one like 100% know if it's okay. Uh, I hope. I mean, I'm pretty far from every town and everything, so I'm sure it's gonna be all right, but you know, something could happen tonight. This is what it is. Uh, even new house, no guarantee that everything's gonna go perfect. Um, I didn't know where I would get water today. I didn't know where I shower. I didn't know all those questions. And it's just something that if you're not willing to deal with all those questions all the time, maybe at least full time, then life, it's not for you. And don't wait to have the perfect van, the perfect situation, the perfect of the perfect. This topic of this video came this morning because I saw a video online of a beautiful lady who's 65 years old, been traveling for I think three or five years, something around this, I don't remember. And she is in South Africa with the old Toyota Land Rover and she's sleeping it by herself. She's a single lady. And she was so beautiful, so happy to do this. And I was, if this woman of 65 years old who could have all the excuse of the world, something bad could happen, she's in another country, uh, she could get sick, you know, at that age, or anything, and she's still doing it. She don't know where she's gonna sleep, she just go with her feelings, she meet amazing people along the road and this is what you guys have to do. And if the question of money come to your mind, I cannot do it because of money. I didn't have any money. I slept in my car for a year. If your car is not a place where you can sleep, you can sell your car maybe and get something else, something cheap, something that will get make you around. People live like in minivans and things like this. You don't need the perfect van. And while you are saving on money of rent, you can travel and you can enjoy this beautiful lifestyle. So I hope that you enjoy. I hope you get a better understanding. And I hope, uh, guys, I'm going to see you on the road. Seriously, um, this channel is about like make you follow your dream. No matter what your dream is, if your dream is to stay inside the house, is to travel or whatever it is, I definitely encourage you to do it. Follow your path. It's gonna be hard. You're not gonna know all the answer, but at one point things are gonna unfold and doors gonna open and opportunities gonna happen and things gonna get better and better. But I want you to be inspired to follow your dreams no matter what. And I think scary dreams right now <laughs> is to go for a little walk. <laughs> She's outside. She was whining to go outside. So I'm gonna let you guys with her and I hope you enjoy. What are you doing? What are you doing, that hole? Wanna give a kiss? Wanna give a kiss? Yeah. <laughs> I know you, you outside. You're not gonna give a kiss, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs>